proud of you. Did I'm you so proud of Jimmy for studying the music and getting know, him like that. Like, I know how much I know how much it means to you because yes. I, we talked about this, and I, I don't. Well, I, I never want to just lie and go like, oh yeah, I love the Grateful Dead. Right, right, right. And I, all I know is Touch of Grey. Right. And so I go, I just can't be that guy. So I want to learn. And so I know how much it means to you. It's seriously, Andy loves the dead. Yeah. And so give me every assignment every week. I study them over and over again. I listen to them going to work. I listen to them after work. And I just wanted to make you proud. I cannot believe it. It was amazing. That was so good. <laughs> I would have gotten broke down palace too, if, was, if you played it a little bit later. Like I know, my, uh, I'm, I know. That reminds me of okay. like a Dylan type of song. Yes, you did damn you did, good. The Grateful Dead also they have like a, uh, the very psychedelic songs. Yes, they yes. They got uh, like Saint Stephen. Yes, pretty right. That, Saint that Stephen's great. Um, yeah. And then you know what's great is John Mayer's version of Franklin's Tower. Franklin's Tower. Like the, yes, it's really good. Roll yeah. the way. The dude. The dude. Yes. Yeah, that's so really good. And he's, good. he's got a great voice, but yes. also jamming. I'm yes. so excited about Halloween night. We're going to have fun. We're, We're going to have, have so much fun. Uh, Jimmy, of course, stars on The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon. And the new book is called This Is Baby. <laughs> I really love it. Um, <laughs> all right, let's go you back to... two books for the price of one. Let's go back to the phones. Caller, what's your name, man? From where are you calling? Hey, I'm Jordan calling from Maryland. Hey, Jordan, what's your question? Hey guys, big fan of you both. Uh, my question is for Jimmy. Yes. Um, so, Jimmy, can you name one time where you got pissed at another talk show for stealing a segment or a game of yours? Say it again. Did you ever get pissed at another talk show for stealing a segment or a game of yours? No, it happens all no. the time. I yeah. just get used to it. There's actually right. a whole show that's in Spanish that is, uh, they steal the exact everything about our show, right. except the host dresses like a clown. <laughs> Come on. And it's Are called like, uh, how do you say banana in Spanish? Plátanos. Yeah, it's called Los Plátanos. <laughs> And he, they, do, they do thank you notes. They do every really? single bit. They steal every one of our bits. There's a Serbian version of Watch What Happens Live. We showed a clip on your show once That's when right. I was on. Yes. By the way, uh, I, I was a little it. salty the other night watching your show and seeing Bindi Irwin's brother. I used to have the record for the most Tonight Show appearances, but now it's Bindi Irwin's brother. He has a name. It's not Bindi I Irwin's know, brother. I can't remember Robert his name. Irwin. Robert Irwin. Bindi Irwin's I, brother. I, yeah. <laughs> No, the answer, you hold it, but you, yeah. you come back no, home. That's what I mean. Well, let's go to Natalie from Texas. Say, hey, Natalie, what's your question for the star of The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon? Hey, friends. Hi, buddy. Thank you so much. Andy Coco, you're my spirit animal. Thanks. Okay. Oh. On a scale from one to 10, how would you honestly rate the movie Taxi? Oh, well, I was in it. Okay. Uh, uh, how would I honestly rate the movie Taxi? I, I was in it, so I, I, I'll, I'll give it a... Uh, you and Queen Latifah? I'll give it a six. You know, I did see it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, because I just saw on um, Rotten Tomatoes, uh, we got 9% Rotten. No! <laughs> I mean, I, I remember one critic said, and you might have to bleep me out, but he said, um, I'd rather drop my DVD player on my nutsack than watch no! it. No! <laughs> James! Talk about my movie. I'm no. like, dude, you took it way too far, I love it that buddy. you have the updated score, though, on Rotten Tomatoes. Hillary from Ohio. Hey, Hillary. <laughs> hey. Hey. Um, first, I just want to say, Andy, thank you so much for your generous donation for our lemonade stand in Cincinnati. You're welcome for the hospital. You're very welcome. Yeah, thank you for Cincinnati Children's. And next, my question is for Jimmy. Yeah. Since you recently had both of them on The Tonight Show, who was the bigger diva backstage? or Madonna. Oh, that's good. Well, you've had everybody. Uh, neither one was diva. Neither was a diva. Okay, I'll tell you what Cher did was great. Okay. She was, uh, we were doing a bit where I had to walk out with, like, with Cher holding her hands like Sonny and Cher. Yes. We came out swinging our arms. Okay. And, uh, and then at the one point, I think I had her say, snap out of it and slap me across the face. Yes. And she didn't want to do that. She goes, I, I like you. I, I don't want to slap you. I go, it's fine. You can just do it. It's comedy. Everyone gets it. It's, it's fine. And she goes, well, maybe I'll slap you and then I'll kiss you. I go, yeah, great. If that's what you want to do, that's fine. So then we're ready for the show. We're about to go out and enter. We're behind the curtain. And I go, uh, we're about to go like 10 seconds. I go, hey, by the way, are you going to kiss me or are you going to slap me? She goes, uh, I'm going to do whatever I want. I'm Cher. <laughs> swear to God. Swear, swear to God. I'm going to do whatever I want. I'm Cher. I was like, wow, that well, was But awesome. you know what's so funny? These women so know who they are because 
Madonna sang her song, which is the equivalent of I'm going to do what I want, I'm Cher, because her song was Bitch, I'm Madonna. Madonna. It was great. She sang that on your show. Oh, it was amazing. And it's Nick, who's one of our camera guys, he's not here tonight, but he runs Steadicam, and he did Steadicam that night, and he was saying that she was there rehearsing. All day. All day, over She's and over. I mean. I saw her show in Brooklyn, by the way. Oh, I did too. <clears throat> it was fantastic. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How does she do and it? And wasn't it great checking your phone and everything? Yeah, wasn't no, that cool? Yeah, no yeah. phones, no Love photographs. That. Yep. And then she does that thing with the typewriter. like, yes. Yes. <laughs> Amazing. And how good was Like a Prayer? Oh, Ami- yes. No, that, everyone yeah. was, when you call my... Everyone went nuts. Amazing. The Vogue was great. Yeah. She's just so good and yeah. always doing something different. I love her, man. She yeah. was just, it was killer. What a great show. Let's go to Tammy from Nebraska. Last call of the night. Tammy, what's your question? Hi, Andy. Hi, Jimmy. Hey. Jimmy, my question is, who were you more impressed with by their slow jam news delivery? Mayor Pete or Kamala Harris? Hmm. Who, who slow jammed the news better? Better. Kamala Harris or, or Mayor Pete? Um, Kamala was pretty good. She had a good uh, Billy Alias joke, but Buttigieg, was, he nailed it. It's so funny it to good. see those guys <laughs> in that. It's such a funny thing to do with that. See, because, yeah, yeah, to have them on. I mean, oh, we gotta get we gotta get Biden in there and, and Warren. <laughs> yes, you do. And just get yeah, that. It'd really be do. fun to see Elizabeth Warren slow jam the news. A thousand percent. Yeah. Um, can you guys are are you gonna come on Saturday Night Live at all this season? They just started their season. I love it when you drop by. Yeah, I probably will. I mean, it, yeah. it depends. You know, when they need me. It, yeah. they're, they're a floor away. But also, yes. my hours are so different now. I'm such an old man. Yeah. I mean, I used to be Saturday Night Live. Used to used to go into work at like you know one o'clock or two o'clock and stay till three in the morning. Yeah. And that was your you just used to be living those hours. Yeah. I don't do that anymore. I have a good story about. Um, I, I you probably told you already, but. Um, <clears throat> Sorry, I'm going to clear my throat. Uh, now I'm going to forget his name. It's a pitcher for the Yankees. I'm not going to remember it now. CC Sabatha? No. Um, Wells? Yes, thank you. Right. Wells. All right, wait. Oh. So I have a story uh, about uh, Saturday Night Live. Okay. Um, so I went to the after party, and David Wells, who's a friend of mine, Wells. Okay. So he, he was at the after party, and we're drinking. And I was probably drinking until probably 5.30 okay. in the morning. I left at 5.30. Okay. He was still there. Okay, love So it. I left, me, Lauren, me, Lauren, Horatio, and David Wells are drinking. So I, I split. I go, take care, dude. I'm out. I had enough, man. So I went home. I wake up the next day in the afternoon, and I turn on the TV, and it's a Yankee game, and David Wells is pitching. Oh, my God. And I go, there's no way. It must be like one of those Yankees classic games, you know? So right. I, they play, so I go, and it's not. It's a real game. So I call up Horatio. I go, dude. I, I go, turn, he goes, hello? I go, it's 2 o'clock. It's 1.30 in the afternoon. Yeah, right, like, right. Why are you calling me so early? Yeah. So you go, turn on uh, Channel 11. You got to see it. Wellesley's pitching. He's like, there's no way. I go, I swear. He's pitching right now. Yeah. And that was when he pitched the perfect game. Are you kidding? Yep. Wow. I was out with him until 5.30. That is incredible. Yeah, like, it's a rare thing to pitch a perfect game. But yeah, we're, we, me, Lauren, Horatio, and Wellesley. You got the magic, dude. I'm telling you. Wow. I want to go out with you until 5.30 in the morning. See what I can do the next day. Have I done my trick with you that I have my, 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 my ketchup mustard trick? <laughs> I don't think so. I have a talent. I can tell if you like ketchup or mustard. Okay. Uh, do you want me to do it? Yeah. All right. Let me see. I just got to somehow. I, I feel like I had to protect the crown of my head. Okay. You're look at me. Look at me in the eye. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Did you get driven to school when you're in high school? In high school. Did you take a school bus? No, I would. I would either drive or. Yeah. I would drive. Did you ever chase after the car because it's really hard to catch up to the car? (gasps) It's catch up. He got it. Everybody, give it up for Jimmy Fallon. Watch him on the Tonight Show. It's a trick. Give it up for Johnny Carson, too. For more, click it on BravoTV.com. Good night, everybody. Thanks for watching. Watch more clips here and subscribe to our channel here. See ya.